Hey, what's up? This is Christopher. Today I want to talk about Starwalk 2 for iOS. Starwalk 2 is a universal application. It will work on iPhone 5 and up, the iPod Touch, and uh, the iPad. I believe iPad 2 and up because it needs to run iOS 7. Um, Starwalk 2 is $2.99 in the App Store. Uh, like I said, it's a universal app. It does have a couple of in-app purchases. You can purchase the entire in-app purchase pack for $2.99, and I'll go over that in a minute, um, talk about what it has in there and what it's for. Now, Starwalk 2 is a guide to the sky, like day and night. Uh, it's really cool. So let's open it up here, and I'll give you an idea. Now, if you've never played with Starwalk 1, but you're a fan of, uh, you know, science, space, you know, whatever it is, uh, this is a astronomy. This is just an awesome app. Um, you can see I can pinch it in here, zoom in and out, and uh, look at the whole, just everything, all the constellations up there, the stars, tell you about the different planets, the moons. Um, you kind of zoom in on it. Look at that. It's really cool. Really cool stuff right here. You zoom in and out. Um, now you have a couple features up here on the top left. You'll notice the compass. Now I can tap that. And what that does is that allows me to, I can, I'm right now, basically, I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just tilting my iPad left and right, up and down. And as I move that, it's showing me where everything is. You can see the sun right there and then the moon. Um, so then when you do that, you can just kind of zoom in on it. Let me swipe over. We can just zoom in right in on the sun. And then just, that's almost blinding, <laughs> but that's intense. And then we can go back over here. Let's find the moon again. So the moon is not out tonight, um, but you can kind of see it even has the craters and stuff on it. And I'll show you how I know that the moon is not out in a second here. Um, well, I know that because I keep up with it, but I can show you in the app where it'll show you that uh, the moon is not out. But then you go ahead and just tap the compass again, and that just allows you to swipe with your finger. Um, etc. You have a clock up here in the top right that you can just tap on and that'll just show you the date and the time. Um, you got a uh, search down here so you can search different uh, stars, constellations, planets, whatever it is that you want to search. You can just uh, give you an example right here. Let's go with Phoenix. Let's just tap that. Go to Phoenix and then you can just kind of zoom in on it. Really cool stuff right there. Um, so I'm going to Go back. I want to search. Let's go to settings over here. So you have Sky Live. This is going to give you all your information about what's going on in the universe right now. You've got the sun, Venus. You got the different moons. And this is how I know that there is no moon out today. It's actually one percent. So actually, it is a one and crescent moon. So uh, I was wrong. The moon is out, <laughs> but barely. But uh, anyway, you get the point. You get the idea here. You got Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, Venus, uh, the different moons. Uh, you got the uh, time, uh, sun up, sundown, etc. All in here. Then you can change the date up here in the top right. Just by tapping that, you can go back and look at all the historical data um, through the years, months, whatever. And you can go back up to today, which is January 19th. Or you can look in the future and get an idea of what's going to happen in the future. Really cool stuff. Let's go back to the 19th here. Let me back up out of here and then go to the settings tab. So you can tap settings. Now settings, you have night mode. You can tap that and you'll see that it changes the app to a red color um, for nighttime. This is really cool when you're outside. Um, I'm indoors right now, so I don't really like the red as much indoors. But when you're outside, it's kind of cool. So we just put that back on the regular non-night mode. I guess it's the day mode. Uh, you can turn the spectrum bar on and off. Um, the ecliptic, that's this line that's going across the middle. I tap that on or off. As you can see, uh, the line appears, disappears. You got sounds. You can turn those on and off. You actually have music in here. Let me turn that on. You can kind of hear the music playing. I'll cut that back off. Uh, visual effects, uh, atmosphere, horizon, water, constellation, meteor showers. When any of those events, like I said, meteor showers taking place, um, if you know there's going to be one, you can look for it in the app. But you can cut those visual effects on or off. Uh, has your location right here. You can also search from other places. So let's go to. I've always wanted to go to Russia, so we're just going to tap Russia right here, and you can see what the view would look like from Russia. So we'll go ahead and just tap back to our current location and then go there. Also down here for the constellations, you can kind of see the difference with the constellation when I tap that, or I can go full detail. And as you can see, that kind of does the out does the star alignment, the out the line, and the outline. You're kind of getting all three of them to give you an idea. Here's the regular constellation. What it would look like if we were looking at it in the sky. This right here will draw the line on there for you. Uh, this right here will kind of show you the 
creature, animal, whatever, whoever, uh, mythological beast, whatever you want to refer to it as, um, in the sky. And I'll just tap it back on the full one. So that's some of the settings in there. You can uh, additional content now. These are the in-app purchases. Like I said, the all-in-one bundle is two dollars and ninety-nine cent. The satellites. Extended solar system, deep sky objects, and the planet, those are 99 cents each. And then the constellations upgrade is a free in or it's a free purchase. So you just go ahead, download it, and then you can just tap the constellations upgrade. And that basically allows you to have like the full feature where you can see each of the animals or the mythological, uh, you know, Orion, whoever it is. Um, you can kind of see the little outline shape of, the, of that person. And go ahead and pay the $2.99 for the all in one versus 99 cent for each of the other four. Um, and that purchases in there. Um, I've already purchased them. This app came out in August. I didn't get it till I believe the beginning of November or something like that. Um, I didn't know they had Star Walk 2 out. I was still using the first one. And you know, it's not something that I use every day, but I love the app. It's a terrific app. Um, me and my daughter enjoy this. When we're together, we'll go out there. I do a lot of photography of the moon and stuff like that. So I run this app with me. Um, really. Uh, cool way to look for certain constellations and stuff in the sky or whatever right in the app you can also share stuff so you can tap the share icon right here now what this does is go ahead and we're going to move it we're going to find something really cool i like that so let me go right here and basically this is just showing me what i look at Ooh, let me see that this little burst right here so i'm just going to tap that and i'm just that's the phoenix take a picture of it then the little share sheet will open up then i can share it to flipboard twitter or whatever i'll just tap twitter um just for the heck of it this little thing comes up right here i got my you know, account whatever i can put some hashtags whatever i want to do so i'm just going to post boom there's that star walk to two dollars and 99 cent highly recommended um if you've never played with the first star walk app then go ahead and grab star walk to you'll have it the 3d model um of the planets and stuff is amazing uh, highly detailed terrific app definitely a 10 star app or five star app whatever you um highly recommended uh thank you for watching remember you can find me on twitter at icrizo thank you have a great day